Hello everyone and welcome back. So I'm going to start up power for the first time um, just to go over how it how it starts off in the beginning, how it works in the beginning and then um, I'm going to kind of cut and then film later after I get familiar myself with the uh, interface and then go over everything with you. So right now if you can't see on screen it's just searching for the folders. Um, now it's saying thank you for installing. This is a limited trial. I did not purchase the, the full one yet. So we're just checking this out. Let me just say okay. And so just like that everything was uh, started and uh, working. So let's look at our library, and it loaded all of my music instantly. So it just worked right off the bat. So um, let's cut then. I'm going to get to know this interface a little better, and then I'll provide an overview of PowerAmp. Thank you. All right, so let's go back into PowerAmp. So here we are in the settings panel and so I, I checked out download album art and preferred downloaded album art so this is a way of um, getting the album art on your zoom and have it automatically updated um, there are for some reason albums that I have album art associated to but isn't receiving on the zoom so this is a way that it, uh, I'm hopefully gonna try to fix it um, for instance, Buddha, a Blink-182 album, was not loading its uh, album art, ne neither was Californication, but uh, hey, now the album art is loading. So it is it is working. Um, Don McLean just uh, downloaded Enema of the State. There was an album art for that. So this, uh, this feature is fairly nice, and it hopefully will stay uh, consistent. You just saw these album art was uh, just gathered for this so now I went from I would say 10 or 12 albums that had no art whatsoever to only one so it does a very good job at finding album art and uh, adding it to your music so that that's a great feature but uh there's there's two views for viewing your music there's one that it looks through your folders um, and then it just associates all your albums as you're seeing right now and then there's this hierarchy which actually looks from a folder view so I have all my music in this uh, music folder you can see there's two other folders mp3 and music folders and those are just default folders in which um, this uh, app is trying to search for music um, but I only have music in this folder so we're gonna click on that and now this is actually the folder hierarchy this is similar to what um, you'd expect in your, your music app that's default not on the zoom but your Android where it, it looks at just the folder hierarchy and um, you can see all the folders that I have and you know within the folders are the individual albums and it shows the art um, for, if, for instance if you were to hold down on something it brings up a menu you can queue it up you can add it to a playlist or you can choose to play and then it will begin playing and it has the you know the beautiful album art switch on and the you, it has a really a uh, nice equalizer so let's take a look at it, the equalizer and um, you can actually play with the tones here it actually changed um, I'm not that great with with the equalizers and I have not played around with this enough but um, you can also change the volume, increase the bass, and treble, which is, uh, as far as my experience with music, uh, I go as far as the treble and bass and the volume. But to have these equalizer effects um, is, is pretty cool. I'll have to play around with it a little more to, to understand it. Um, 
So you can switch, you can see by swiping to the right on or to the left, I'm moving right or left um, or switching forward or going backwards and as you go to a different album it will s swap in the new album. So one of the features um, that you saw that I um, clicked on was this override album art. So this is not the album art that I originally had downloaded but was associated with the music but um, this app downloaded new album art and it, it, it's 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 much better, it's much prettier, um, it has a high, more high res and everything renders pretty well in this and so it's a fairly nice music app and there we go with transitions um, you can look at playlists you can set music and you can that you're listening to as a ringtone by default automatically just click OK and there you go um, if we look at settings if for some reason you don't have music that's showing up it's probably because you don't have that folder associated with this app so just go find that folder check it off and there you go that music should now be showing up once you scan if you don't want your album art overridden that you have already just uh, uncheck this option so overall a very nice app I, I, the album art finding I think is is uh, is excellent on this. It's the best I've uh, come across. And um, let's quickly go to music. I want to see if it downloads the album art for the other music applications. And you can see no, it doesn't. And that's okay. But this just goes to show you how it does fill in the blanks quite well and find, finds the album art. So this is the other music app um, that comes default on the Zoom. It has a very nice uh, 3D effect coming at you. Um, there's also a, another view. Where you can view them all, kind of in a in a stacked list. Click on the music you want to listen to. Click on the song and go. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this overview on these two apps, and uh, looking forward to hearing your comments. Um, let me know if there's anything you want to see in particular. Have a great day.